All right, guys, it's gonna be a long one. So if you wanna grab a drink, grill a steak, whatever you gotta do to get comfortable, let's get into it. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark. Today, I have an exciting thrift haul for you from a place that I went to for the very first time, so that's always really exciting to check out new places to source. Last Saturday, let's see, today's Wednesday, so last Saturday, which was the Saturday before Mother's Day, part of my Mother's Day gift from my husband was the morning to go thrift without children, so he just hung out at home with the kids and I was able to go out and thrift. One of my friends in town who recently just started reselling as well, she told me about this consignment sale in town that I had never gone to. I'd actually not even heard of it. And they were doing a fill a bag sale. <laughs> fill a bag sales are my absolute favorite. There's another thrift store in town that does one on the last Saturday of every month, but this was for a different consignment store than this thrift store that I typically go to. And she told me that, you know, it's a pretty good consignment sale or pretty good consignment store. She'd gone there before, so I went to check it out. So the way that the consignment sale was set up it was like their 19th year of business. So they were having everything inside of the store was 19% off. And then they rented this huge tent that was outside of the store and everything inside the tent was part of the fill a bag sale. It was open starting at nine. So if you went from nine to 11, if you filled a bag, that was $25. From 11 to one, each bag was $20 and so on and so forth and by like the end of the day I think a bag was like three to five dollars or something I only had time to go earlier in the morning so I got there around 10 and I made a beeline for the shoes because that's always the first place that I go when I go thrifting they gave you like those little dingy thank you bags like just a regular kind of plastic grocery shopping bag I filled like two of those with shoes within a matter of like 10, 15 minutes or something. And then I took my time with the other stuff, but I just wanted to make sure that I stocked up on the best shoes that I could. When all was said and done, I filled six bags worth of stuff. Actually, it was three garbage bags full. They counted one of those big garbage bags as two of the smaller grocery bags, which I think I actually got a better deal doing it that way than if I were to fill up little bags. Um, so I spent $140 because two of those bags they counted as $25 and the last four they counted as $20 because I just kept bringing them like armfuls and armfuls of clothing and they had this little separate pile for me. But the first two armfuls of shoes were like between that, you know, 9 and 11 o'clock window and everything else after it was part of that $20 window between 11 and 1. So I did pretty well for myself. I sold, not sold, I bought a total of, I forget how many pieces, but it came out to basically $1.89 per piece. I did get a couple things for myself. I got a few things for my kids, which I won't show you. I won't bore you with those. It was a good day. And I actually have already started listing some of these items because like I said, it's already Wednesday. So I tried to get to work and list as much as I could. And um, one of the pairs of shoes have already sold. I will put a picture of that here. And I apologize for this like huge shadow here. Hopefully you'll still be able to see the clothes okay. But um, the pair of shoes that sold was this pair of Sam Edelman Gigi flat like thong sandals. This was really exciting because I've never found Sam Edelman shoes before. I know for a lot of resellers, Sam Edelman is considered bread and butter, but for me, I just don't find it very often. I think I've found it like a couple times before, but it was either too old of a style or they were just so beat up that I couldn't resell them. But I was really excited because at this consignment sale, I found maybe two to three pairs of Sam Edelman's. And like I said, this pair already sold and it sold for $20. Five dollars twenty four dollars I, I think my take-home pay was like twenty dollars or something like that I don't remember you'll see it in a what's old video, but that pair already sold um, and everything else I'm gonna try to list as quickly as I can I'll let you know too which items have already been listed and which items have not my Poshmark closet in case you wanted to check it out is at Becky Park so if there was something that you were interested in you could check it out in my Poshmark closet or you can email me my email is poshingplanner at gmail.com and I will send you a price that includes shipping that is better than what you can get on Poshmark because we don't have to deal with Poshmark's 20% fee so let's get right into the haul we'll start with shoes since that's what I started with at the thrift store 
the first pair of shoes that I will show you, um, these are already listed in my Poshmark closet. In fact, the majority of the shoes are. These are a pair of Dolce Vita shoes. Dolce Vita is sometimes sold at Target, so you want to be careful. Um, I'm fairly certain that these were not part of the Target line. They've got this really cool cork wedge and just this nice like gold hardware detail as well as on this like top part of the shoe. They are a size something. They don't have a size. They do, oh, they're a size six and a half. They're in really good condition. There is some like wear on the cork, just where, you know, I don't know what happened to it, but there is some stuff like that. But in otherwise really good condition, I think I have them listed in the 30s, if I remember correctly. So there's those. Next up, I have this pair of Talbot's Flats. I am trying not to pick up so much Talbots, but these were so cute, like multicolored glitter, and they have a leather lining. These are a size seven, seven, seven and a half. There is a little bit of wear on the bottom, but they're in excellent condition, and I thought that those are really cute. Just like perfect pop of glitter and fun to any outfit, so there are those. This next pair of shoes I thought were really interesting. They are by this brand called Steve Madden for the cool people. And I was trying to do some research on them, but I think that this brand was um, or is sold at Aldo. And it seems like it's this random sub brand and a lot of the money from it goes towards a charity. I don't know. Like there's not a whole lot of information about them. They're cool because they're this huge wedge and you just kind of slide your feet into them and they've got these nice buckles up on top. The top is leather and then just like the straw detail in um, the striped pattern for the wedge. I thought that those were really, really cool. Those are listed in my Poshmark closet. Uh, I think again, they're like in the 30s. I'm just going to assume that everything's in the 30s. I don't, I don't really know. Next up, we have another pair of Steve Maddens. They're kind of similar to this pair that I just showed you. Um, they have like the similar straw-like feel, although this is more of a fabric than the straw that this is made out of. And they have like the multicolors, um, big, tall wedge. Steve Madden's, like I said, they have buckles as well. They do have like this back strap to them. Um, typically, I like Steve Madden's because they tell you the name of what the shoe is called. And this is called the Peapod, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. These are an eight and a half and also just in super awesome condition. They look like they have hardly been worn, if at all. So those are in my closet for probably 30 something dollars. <laughs> I don't know. As you can tell, I picked up a lot of like tannish or brown and neutral colored shoes. These are Michael Kors. They have the emblem or the whatever this thing is called on the top. These are not in as great of condition as the other shoes. The heels are like this cool lucite in kind of like a tortoise shell pattern, if you can kind of see that. Or like not even tortoise shell, but I don't, whatever. But it's like lucite, which is really cool. But on the inside, you can see that the bottom like lining or whatever this is called, it's kind of coming apart, which is not amazing. But you can still wear them, definitely. The top is leather. This is all leather here, but I just thought that they were really cool. They're size nine. I definitely listed these a little bit lower than the comps just because, like I said, this stuff is coming off. I think these are all still listed in the 30s. Next up, I don't have these listed yet, and that's because, I don't remember why. Oh, it's because I think in the picture I had the shoes facing the wrong direction. So I think that I like took the picture like this and I didn't want people to think that there was something wrong with them or like a defect. So I just need to retake the pictures for these. Even like this, like they just look like they're not the right side, but they are, it's just, I don't know. They're just kind of wonky like that. They are Franco Sartos. They're this suede ankle boot and they zip on the side. Um, they've got this nice wedge and they've got this cool like elastic part here. They are a size, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, here they are. Size eight and they are the westerly boot. Leather, fabric, upper, 
So I'm excited about those. I will probably price those in the 30s or 40s. I have another pair of Sam Edelman's. Like I said, I did get to find a few. Kind of staying with our cork theme here. And the cork is kind of bubbled right there, as you can see. Um, but these have just a nice leather thong top. And these are a size eight. And they are the Romy shoe. Nice and simple. It gives you some height and um, they're very neutral, so they'll go with pretty much any outfit. So I got those. I love this next pair of shoes. I think they're so classy. It's this pair of Cole Haan leopard print calf hair shoes, and they are a wedge. And I just feel like this print is so vibrant, and it's just such good quality. It is the Cole Haan with Nike Air. They are a size 7B and they're just gorgeous um there is some wear to them on the bottom like you can see that they've been worn but the calf hair especially is in pristine condition like there is nothing wrong with the tops of them at all there is a little bit of like scuffing or just a little bit of wear on the wedge itself but otherwise they're in excellent condition these are probably the favorite shoe find of this thrift haul Next up, I decided to pick up this pair of Lucky Brand wedges. I have such good luck with the Lucky Brand flats that when I saw these, I thought I would just give them a try. Um, they're in this like really fun orange color and they have that like raffida, um, what's this called, wedge. And these are a size eight and a half and these are the, there's the name somewhere. Do, 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 do. What are you called? I don't know. Oh, here it is. These are the Westwood, Westwad, K Westwood shoe. And they're just a size eight, actually, not eight and a half. Shoot, I hope, yeah, they're both size eight. I was scared that one of them was an eight and a half and one of them was an eight. So these are in pretty good condition. There's like a little bit of weird, like, I don't know, weird sticky stuff on one of these little flaps but and there's like a few little marks but otherwise they're in really good shape so there are these i think i listed these in like the 20s maybe like the high 20s i did get um a couple pairs of like more outdoorsy athletic shoes these are by merrill merrill is a great company a great brand for things like hiking and just being outdoors and although i don't really associate this look of a shoe with like being outside I mean, I could definitely see these being comfortable for going for like simple hikes or just being outdoors, like maybe if you're fishing or something like that. Um, they do have like air cushion there. The bottoms look great. You can tell that they've been worn. There's a little bit of like uh, like toe, whatever. Like you can see the imprints of toes a little bit, but they're not horrible. And these have a specific style name to them too. They are the braided bracken. So, and these are a size, I want, the size is so hard to see, but I think that they're a nine because they're pretty big. So that's what these are. And then last up for my shoes are this pair of Keens. I, I listed these and I don't remember what they're called. They're, ugh, I'm not going to remember, but um, they are great. I mean, they're waterproof. They have a lot of life left in them i mean they barely look like they've been worn people love keens people love um going out and hiking in them they love you know just being outdoors with these shoes i actually have a pair of keens myself for when my husband and i went to hawaii and we knew we were going to be doing a lot of hiking and just being outdoors a lot and i knew i needed waterproof shoes and so i have a pair of keens although they're like in a kid size because my feet are freakishly small but these are a size seven and they are awesome. Hey guys, so this is literally my third time trying to film this haul because the lighting situation is just crazy. I have two skylights right above me here and the sun kind of goes in and out. I think that it's kind of done because of the time of day that it is, um, but I figured I would just re-film rather than continue to complain about the lighting situation for the remainder of the video. Um, so here we go. The first thing I will show you is this Garnet Hill just cotton dress. Garnet Hill has a very unassuming look to its label and tag in that it doesn't even have a tag. It doesn't have like that flap 
inside, but it's just kind of printed right on the fabric. This is a size medium. And this is just a really simple dress. It's got three quarter length sleeves and it goes down to about the knee. Nothing really crazy about it, but these pretty simple dresses can still get like 20 to 28 dollars on Poshmark. So people who like Garnet Hill like Garnet Hill. So um, that one I was pretty excited about and there's another Garnet Hill coming up in a little bit. Next up I have Cabby. This is the old Cabby and you can tell because the A is uppercase and the letters are so far apart. It's a size 2 and it's this interesting like goldenrod type color. It's not like a very bright yellow um, and it's almost like a beige. I don't know. I don't know how you would explain this. But it is just a nice pair of skinny jeans from Cabby and Cabby does pretty well for me hoping to get between 20 to 30 dollars on that next up i have a pair of miss me jeans there was actually a good amount of miss me at this sale so i picked it all up as much of it as i could because when they find miss me at my local goodwill and salvation army they mark it up so much like they mark it up to 20 30 40 dollars i guess there's a lot of people in my town that really enjoy miss me but these are the jp 5046l boot and they're just kind of your classic boot cut pants or boot cut jeans the nice thing is a lot of times on miss me's the hem is destroyed but they're in really good shape on these um, and then the back pockets are blinged out quite a bit you can see there's like little um what is that called like diamond like things they're not real diamonds but you know what i mean it is missing one right there so i will disclose that and I'll just give this a really good, oh, it's missing another one there too. I imagine that like when you wash these, a lot of those just kind of fall out. But um, the front has a little bit of some bling as well. It's got like this silver end there. But um, Miss Me Jeans, they have slowed down. They don't garner quite as much money as they used to. But I think I can still get between $20 and $30 for those, especially because there are Rhinestones, that's what they're called. Because there are some rhinestones missing on the back, I'll probably take 20 to 30. Next up I have this J. Jill dress. I do not go out of my way to pick up J. Jill, but this was such a great like basic summer piece. It's just this um, sleeveless button up like chambray dress. I really like the style of the pockets, how they're just kind of really big and um, it adds like that fun detail to the dress. But yeah, just a nice simple button up dress. It hits a, about the knee. I'm hoping to get between 20 and 25 on this one. Maybe I'll start it a little bit higher even. People who like their J. Jill really like their J. Jill. And that was a size medium. Next up, I, f I heard about this brand. I believe on Savannah, who is street savvy, um, I heard about it on one of her hauls, and it's Slinky brand. It was either her or Nicole State, but I want to say that it was Savannah. Um, so I picked it up, and I didn't look up comps for it, but it's just this really lightweight and slinky tropical print shirt. Again, three-quarter sleeve. Perfect for, like, vacation over the summer and things like that. I looked up comps for it. It wasn't, like, amazing. I'm hoping to get maybe between $15 and $18 for that. I think that was a size medium. I don't know if I said. This next pair of pants is a newer cabbie label pair of pants. And you can tell because the letters are much closer together. And the A is not capitalized. It's a size 4. And it's this skinny purple corduroy pant. Just basic. I know it's not really the season for corduroy. But I list all things regardless of season. Because... People want what they want when they want it. They don't really, you know, they're not always shopping for the particular season that they're in. Next up, I have this pair of J. Crew chinos, and they're in this nice neutral, like brownish color. Again, a size four. Um, later in the sale, bags are like three to five dollars. If I were able to go back for the last thirty minutes or last hour of the sale, I would just shove my bag full of all these J. Crew chino shorts. There were so many. A lot of them were J. Crew factory, but still, like when you're paying at that point like 10 cents per pair of shorts or something, even if you're selling them for 10, 15 dollars, that's still a good return on investment. Um, but I like these because for people my age or just kind of in my season of life, I'm married, I have kids, I don't wanna wear shorts where my butt cheeks are hanging out. I don't wanna show 
things that people don't want to see and so I feel like classy shorts like these are sought after by people who are in a similar life stage to me so that is the J. Crew chino short another pair of shorts here these are fun this is mark by mark jacobs and it is a size 27 i always get scared when i see this because this looks like that so brand and i think so is sold at either like walmart or kohl's or something like that and every time i see that i'm like oh my gosh did i pick up that so brand but it's just the way that they put the size um it is the standard supply slouchy workwear fit they have a little bit of a cuff at the bottom. They're a little distressed. They're like this really fluorescent pink. It's kind of getting washed out. I'll try to pull it back here. Um, but nice, simple shorts. Mark by Marc Jacobs obviously is not as good as just regular Marc Jacobs, but still a fun pickup. Another pair of super bright pants. This is a pair of AG or Adriano Goldschmied pants. There's the label. And this is the Stevie Ankle Slim Straight Leg. I don't find Adriana Goldschmied a lot in my area. I actually have never found women's AG jeans. This is my first time, and you'll see I actually found a few more pairs, um, more corduroy pants than jeans. And so that was really exciting because I know that they do really well for some people. Um, so I was excited to find those. And it's like just a really fun, like bright coral color. And at the store, when this wasn't on sale, when this wasn't part of the tag sale, they wanted $24.99 for it. I think they were supposed to take all these tags off too, but they missed a couple. So I feel like that means those people who consigned with them are not going to get their cut. But what can you do? There is like a little mark. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but I don't think you can. But there is a little mark on that, so I will just note that in the description. This next pair of pants is really cool. There are some flaws on it, so I probably won't get as much for them as I could have. They are Pilcro and the Letterpress, which is an anthropology brand, and they are the Hyphen Fit, number 27. I can't remember if that number 27 means that the size is 27. I think it is, but they're like this cool grayish pair of pants with like these patches and embroidery all over them like look at how cool and they're basically more of like a straight leg they're not skinny the thing that I'm unsure of is some of the patchwork has some like holes in it and I don't know if it's supposed to be like that um, the embroidery continues onto the back which again is just so cool so I need to look it up and I need to see if it's supposed to be chewed into as far as the patchwork and if so then that means we're in good shape and if not that means I need to really mark the price down quite a bit there's also like a little bit of a pull on the front and on the back there is what appears to be a pen mark if these are worth a decent amount then I will probably actually ask my husband if he can get the pen mark out um, if they're not in good condition in regards to the patches then I'll probably just disclose the pen mark too and not even bother trying to get that stain out some more jeans and then I promise there's other stuff too but this is a pair of true religion jeans size 28 and they are the Becky super T cut which is fun because my name is Becky um, just your typical pair of true religion boot cut type pants they have excellent hems as well you can see there's hardly any wear on them and the back pockets are your typical true religion with the U pockets and they have um, like the flaps which is really nice a lot of people really like that true religion is not selling super fast for me I have one pair in my closet right now and it's not doing too hot not a lot of attention however that pair of jeans it's like black and they're skinnies which isn't very typical for true religion um, but I'll probably list those between like 30 and 45 and see what happens Another pair of jeans. These are silver jeans. I don't have a lot of experience selling silver jeans. And again, that's because in my Goodwills, they mark them up to $20, $30. This is the Stevie Flap Fit, and it is a size 2731. They are a skinny pant, and they do have some bling bling on the pocket on the back. Again, with the flat pocket. And they have this cool, like, 
it almost looks like a zipper, but it's actually little tiny sequins and beads. So that's actually really, really pretty. So I thought I'd give those a try. I did find one pair of silver jeans not too long ago that are listed in my closet right now. They're getting, they have like a few likes, um, nothing crazy. So we'll see what happens. I don't know if maybe the popularity of silver jeans have gone down, but at less than $2 for the pair of jeans, it doesn't hurt to try. I was really excited about this pair of pants because it's my first time finding J. Crew collection. I don't know if you can see, but underneath where it says J. Crew, it says collection in all caps, kind of small. They're a size zero. J. Crew collection is like the top brand of J. Crew, and it is really stinking expensive. But they are just this pair of kind of coral, like career pants. They are. Um, I thought that because they were J. Crew collection, they were going to be made of something luxurious like silk. It's 100% polyester. <laughs> like, I don't really understand what about this is that amazing. Let me just double check. Yep, 100% polyester. So I'm going to look up the style. Um, the really nice thing about J. Crew is that they always have the style number on the inside and when it's from. So these are a little bit older. They're from spring of 2014. But if I just type in the style number, it will probably pull up the stock photo that they used for this pair of pants as well as the name of the pants and other information about the pants um, and a lot of times it'll give you the price too so that is really helpful when listing j crew items here are some more pants another pair of old cabbie and these are a size six and the only reason i picked these up is because they are made of a linen blend um, they're kind of like a nice wide leg they need a awesome steam as you can tell they're in kind of rough wrinkly shape there are some marks on them, so I'm going to put them in a pile for my husband to try to deal with and get the stains out. I think it's just that little mark on the back, so that's going to go in a separate little pile. Next up, I have another pair of AG pants, Adriano Goldschmied. They are the Willow, and they are this black corduroy, I'd say it's more of a straight leg. I was looking up comps for Adriano Goldschmied corduroys. These are a size 30 regular, by the way. And they don't seem to go for quite as much. And now that I, 30 R, I'm wondering if that is women's or men. I will have to look that up. But they are a size 30 R and the comps were showing that they probably sell between like 20 and $30, which isn't horrible. If people like corduroys and they like really like them and they're looking for them, so hopefully those people find my closet. This next item is a Topshop blouse. It is a size four. Topshop is not a big seller by any means. It moves pretty consistently, but it's not like people are gonna pay you a lot of money for Topshop. But I thought this top was so cool. It's got this striped floral pattern in the middle and then this polka dot sleeve. And I just thought that that was a darling. And it's got like little gold buttons for the sleeve and it buttons all the way up. I just thought that was really, really pretty, especially for the spring. Next up is this really, I'm pretty sure it's like an old Diletta tag. This is from Anthropology. It's a size medium and it's just your basic like kind of almost peasant looking top. It's this pretty green. It's got embroidery along the neckline, along the sleeves and along the bottom hem and it's identical in the back. Just really cute. And as you can see, all of this stuff needs to be steamed. Like everything's just been sitting in a pile <laughs> since I got home from the consignment sale. This shirt's kind of interesting. I need to do some research and see if this is worth anything, but it's Thomas Mason shirtings for J. Crew. So it looks like it's some sort of collaboration. It's a size two, but I just thought it was really unique with this like very tuxedo pleated front. Um, and it's this nice blue color, just really, really, really classy. Um, yeah, nothing more to really say about that. But I'm interested to see if that collaboration was something big and important. This is just your typical Ralph Lauren. I love when people say Ralph Lauren. I actually have a friend who's a fashion designer for Ralph Lauren. And I asked her one day, I was like, 
isn't Ralph Lauren? She's like, no, he's American. <laughs> and I was like, that's what I thought. But a lot of people call him Ralph Lauren. And she's like, I know it's just Ralph Lauren. And I was like, okay. Um, but it's a size eight. Again, they left the tag on. So this person probably isn't getting their cut. Whoopsie. It's hundred percent cotton. And it is just like this really nice sleeveless button up with the, uh, with the logo, with the logo embroidered on. I love the polo logo. So that's just really classy. I probably won't get a ton for it, but um, I like to have that kind of stuff in my closet because sometimes people are looking for items like that. This is a Daniel Rain top in a size small. I actually just sold a sleeveless Daniel Rain blouse yesterday. So some people really like his stuff. This I thought had a really cool print to it. There's the contrast between the geometric like diamond shape and then this it's not floral, but I don't know what it is, but it, it's a cool contrast. And then the bottom is just the sheer black material, size small. I'll probably list that between like $18 and $24. Next up is this pair of Hudson white pants. I think they're boot cut. Um, at this sale, Inside the tent, there were just a bunch of different racks and underneath the racks were tons and tons of boxes with more inventory. So you could tell that their plan was throughout the day as people shopped and as the racks were picked over and there was more space on them, they were supposed to go in and fill the racks. So in one of those boxes, I saw this, uh, I saw this. So I knew that it was Hudson. And so I pulled them out and when I pulled them out, I also saw this. So they're new with tag Hudson jeans and they are a size, doo -doo 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 -doo. they're size 30 and they're just a nice pair of black, uh, sorry, black, of white. It looks like flare jeans. The flare is a little bit bigger, but maybe it's still considered boot cut. And they do have the desirable flaps on the butt. Um, a lot of resellers say that you should definitely mention in your listing that the pants have the flap on the butt and that that will help them sell for a little bit more. There's also just a lot of like lint and not lint, but just like little dust bunnies and stuff on these pants. I think again, because they were underneath the racks of clothing and they just kind of um, attracted some not so awesome stuff on them. This dress, I thought it was so pretty. We have so much Talbots in our um, in our thrift stores that I try really hard not to pick up too much of it. But this is awesome for so many reasons. One, it is a size 14, which is great. It is new with tags, which is even better. It retailed for $169. It did get clearance down to $79.99. And then lastly, it's just gorgeous. Like, it's gorgeous. It's got this floral print and it ties in the middle it's got like this string tie perfect for weddings or bridal showers or baby showers I mean it's just so pretty and even like the little details like on the tie it's got like this little gold clasp at the end I mean it's just beautiful and Talbot's even though it is pretty oversaturated on a lot of markets like Poshmark and eBay they make quality stuff and people who like it like it I don't know what that whistle thing was that was really weird next up I was really excited to find this brand it's standard James purse size 4 um, James purse always does really well I had even just like a really plain striped t-shirt by him once in my closet and it sold really quickly. I think it sold for like $18, $20, but still it's just a basic tee and it sold really well. This is a little black dress. It is really comfortable looking. It has like this subtle v-neck in the front and it's ruched along the sides which I think will help give any woman who wears it just a really nice shape. It does have some deodorant stains on the bottom. Let me try to find them. But that's easy enough to wash right here. Um, I just have to get that out. But I am hoping that this will sell for a decent amount, size four. Next up, I have been picking up so much Columbia, like outdoor hiking gear type stuff lately. And it's not really selling. Like, I don't know why I keep picking it up, but I just keep telling myself, people are going hiking. People are going on vacation. They need this kind of stuff. It's a size eight. And it is the 
kind of pants that you can, oh no, they're not the zip off kind, but they are like, they have this ruching along the side. Like there's a drawstring that you can pull and I don't, I don't know why. I don't know what that accomplishes. I guess maybe it like helps the length of the pants become shorter, but it's interesting. I don't, I don't know what the appeal of that is, but it's a design on these pants and I'm sure some people want that. It's got the flapped pockets on the back and you can button them shut. So that is one of the things that I picked up. Next up, I have a couple pair of shorts that I'm keeping for myself. This first one is from J. Crew Factory. You can tell it's factory because of the two diamonds underneath where it says J. Crew. These are the J. Crew Weathered Broken In Chino Classic Twill City Fit Pants. And they're just this really pretty light lavender color and they have like embroidered zebras all over them. So I thought that was really cute. And for under $2, yes please. This is also from J. Crew Factory and they are this linen blend pink and white striped pair of shorts. So you will probably see pictures of me in these shorts throughout the summer on my Insta. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should. My Instagram handle is at Becky Park on Poshmark. Next up, I think I found out about this brand through Alex's Instagram and YouTube. Um, Alex is the queen of thrift. I will link her channel down below. And it's Karen Kane. This is a size large. And it's got this really unique print to it. Like, it's not tie-dye, obviously, but it, it kind of has that, like, effect. But it's just, like, these, I don't know, like, rectangular shapes in different colors. But I just thought that that was really pretty. And it's a sleeveless dress, really lightweight, perfect for the summer. So I'm going to give that brand a try, and I will let you know how that goes. Next up is a pair of Eileen Fisher size large just wide leg black pants, really easy. Um, there's a lot of stretch to them. Yeah, nothing super special, but it's Eileen, so why not for under $2. Next up is, I tried really hard not to pick up Loft, but I thought this was so pretty. Again, they left this, uh, the tag on, and this they wanted $14.99 for. Kind of crazy, but it's Loft size 2, and it is this romper with like a bustier, if you can see that, in this really pretty floral print. I mean, how cute is this? There is this loose thread at the bottom that I need to cut off, but it's just so pretty. It's got the adjustable spaghetti strap. Um, I mean, I probably won't get more than $18, $20 for that, but um, I could not leave that one behind. That was really pretty. Next up, I was really excited to find this, but then when I looked up comps for it, it wasn't quite as awesome as I thought it was gonna be. It's the brand Splendid, and Splendid retails for a lot of money, um, and this is a size small, but the resale value just isn't really there. It's like a dark navy, sorry, I'm doing a horrible job. Um, it's a dark navy racer back v-neck maxi dress, and it's just the same pattern all the way through. And when I looked up comps, I mean, it doesn't look like you can get more than $30 for this. And if you're getting 30, you're pretty lucky. So I'll probably list it between like 25 and 32 and see what happens. Um, there also seems to be a decent amount up on Poshmark, but that's okay. We'll give it a shot. This is the next Garnet Hill dress. This is a little bit different because it says green cotton by Garnet Hill, so it looks like it might be a little sub-brand that they have. And when I looked at the tag, there's nothing special about it. I thought maybe it'd be like organic cotton or something along those lines, but it just says it's 100% cotton. So I don't know what necessarily about it makes it green. Yeah, I don't know. But it's, again, just a really simple three-fourth sleeve or quarter, three-quarter length sleeve, polka dot, cotton, just easy dress, perfect for the summer, perfect to run errands in or just, you know, lounge around the house in. So I definitely got that. I am not actively looking for Chico's. I heard Chico's does really well on eBay. It does not do super amazing, I feel like, on Poshmark, although I have sold it. It just sits for a while. But what does move really quickly 
is Travelers by Chico's. This is a size zero and they do vanity sizing. So a zero means I think that it's a medium, but the Travelers brand is made of this material. It's like got a lot of stretch to it and it's made to basically not really wrinkle. So if you are someone that travels a lot and you are having to pack a suitcase a lot, you could just throw this in your bag and it won't really wrinkle. Um, it's just an open front cardigan and it's got like this blue trim on the inside, nice and simple. This kind of stuff sells really well, probably between 20 and 30 for that. That, I don't know why I said that like that. Um, this is weird, but I picked it up because people like the Harley Davidson. It says Harley Davidson in this pretty blue color on the front in cursive. And at the bottom here, it says New River HD in Jacksonville, North Carolina. The back is what I thought was kind of cool. It is this like mesh material and it has what looks like, it looks like a giant tattoo, you know, like this is kind of like the style of tattoos. So it's got like flowers on it and this dragon and it says Harley Davidson. I just, I just know people really like their Harley Davidson and Harley Davidson is another brand that when they find it at Goodwill, they mark it up so much, even if it's just a plain t-shirt. So I thought I would just pick it up and give it a try. I've sold Harley Davidson once before and that's because my husband found it at a Goodwill and they missed the fact that it was Harley. On the back, it was like heavily embroidered with the Harley Davidson logo. It was a men's piece, it was like a button up and it sold within like two days or something like that. So. I know people love their Harley Davidson. Maybe it would be better if it was men's piece, but we're gonna give that a shot and see what happens. I've heard Savannah on Street Savvy talk about this brand as well. It is Agnes and Dora. It reminds me of LuLaRoe. I'm wondering if it's one of those MLM companies as well where you have to like be a buyer for it and you have parties. Like, I don't know if you can buy this brand in the store. I could also just be making this up in my head because just so much about this reminds me of LuLaRoe. But I thought it had this really pretty, you know, feather print to it. I thought I'd give it a shot. So I don't know how I'm gonna price that yet because I haven't really done any research on it. Here is another example of new tag cabby, and this is on that square label. It's a size small, just an easy leopard print top. Um, yeah, some people really like this kind of stuff. Probably get $15 to $20 on that. I do have a couple formal dresses. This is by Adriana Papel. It is a size 6, and it's just a really nice structured black dress with like a lot of pleating and kind of this cap sleeve. Um, it's form fitting, perfect for the summer, like for any um, weddings or other formal events that there might be. And the back is exactly the same, just nice. And you know, this pleated detail goes throughout. So I picked that up for under $2. This dress is almost identical to that one. It's also Adriana Papel, but this one's better because this is also a size six but this one is new with tags <laughs> and that makes it better. It doesn't have the price tag, but it does have the label tag, but it's very similar in style. It has that kind of pleated look to it, but it kind of goes at an angle and it meets in the middle and then it goes the opposite way along the bottom, which is kind of cool. And I imagine that the way they designed the angles, it helps to you know make a woman look smaller in the middle and who doesn't want that, right? Again, it continues in the back and it's this really nice like hunter green color. So I thought that that was really pretty and for under $2 and it being new with tags, I was like, yes, please. Next, I'm gonna show you my pile of stuff that needs to be washed and treated, stain treated because they all have crazy stains. A lot of these things may end up not being savable and I'm just gonna have to redonate them but I'm gonna let my husband <laughs> give them his best shot and see what happens. This first one is not that bad. This is Calia by Carrie Underwood. This is actually a really cool piece. Um, there is the tag and it's a limited edition piece. It's a size extra small and it's this really cute cropped short sleeve hoodie. And along the side, it's got this mesh panel with this really pretty soft print in like this mint green and yeah, it's kind of hard to see, um, but they introduced the print again on the inside of the hood, which is really cool. And it's got this big oversized hood. 
there is the label again on the back. The stains, you know, actually, you know, that I, I think I was looking at it in really terrible light before. Well, it just looks like there's a little bit of pit staining, but I don't even, yeah, there's a little bit. So, I mean, I think if we just do some OxyClean on that, it'll hopefully come right out. This is horrible. This next one is horrible. I was excited because I saw this. It's Lily Pulitzer. It's a size two. And it has these really cute embroidered crabs or lobsters all over them. I mean, just quintessential kind of old school Lily with like the very preppy theme. It's not like the bright colors, but the, you know, just that like nautical or like beach feel, whatever. Here's what's gross is this huge stain. And at first I was so scared that it was like pee or something, but that would be like on the crotch, like lower, right? This is like right where the zipper is and it's like on the inside too. So it looks like maybe someone spilled like coffee or iced tea like on the front of their pants. I don't know if that's gonna come out, um, but they're like this really nice, just kind of, you know, cropped pant, capri pant. We're gonna see what my husband can do. Hopefully he can work a miracle with these because I think they're so cool and they're so perfect for the summer. So we'll see what happens, but that's going in my I need to wash you pile or my husband needs to wash you pile. So I got this pair of Spanx. Basically like everything coming up is white and white is hard, especially if the thrift store or the place that you are sourcing at doesn't have good lighting. And this place didn't, we were inside a tent. <laughs> If there's not good lighting, it's hard to catch stains sometimes, and so that's why I brought a lot of this stuff home and saw the stains. But this is Spanx. It's the signature cropped. Um, I don't know what size it is off the top of my head. I think it may be on the inside tag. Size 29. Um, I know Spanx can do really, really well. These stains, they're not horrible. They're like these marks. Can you see it? I'm trying to... They're really small. There, there you go. Like, just little, it looks like, I don't know, it looks like just some sauce or something got on the pants. There's a little bit, again, like on the bottom of the pants. Um, we'll see what my husband can do. I don't know. That goes in that pile. These are a pair of level 99 pants with this striped vertical, I think they call it like railroad stripe print. Um, it's the Lily Skinny Straight. I don't know if this necessarily has a stain or if it's just, I don't know what's going on. I think there there is some staining for sure. So if you look on the back, this like whole middle section is just kind of discolored. And at the top, like you can see where the coloring is just weird. So we're just gonna give those a good wash and see what happens. Sometimes that brand is sold at Anthropology. That particular pair of pants was not, but sometimes it is. Some more Miss Me. These are in rough shape though. <laughs> These are the Miss Me Signature Crop Pants, size 26. Already on the inside, there's a little bit of like sweat marks, which is kind of gross. And then right here on the back, there is just some discoloration. This is, um, this is an example of just very thick contrast stitching, as you can see. Some people love that look. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Miss Me in general is not really my vibe, but people who like it, like it. There's a huge stain on the front. It's kind of showing, but just like this huge brownish, tannish, again, like they spilled iced tea or coffee or something all over their pants. There's another stain down here that is not really picking up. Literally like just stains everywhere, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see what miracles my husband can work. And the back is pretty blinged out. It's got like beading and sequins along the pocket. It's got this big jewel piece here. The tag is pretty cool. We'll see what happens. I would love to sell those to someone. One more pair of white Miss Me jeans that are complete with stains. These are a size 28. They are the JP5082P15 Capri pants. I don't know why they have so many letters and stuff in the title. They are cropped, like it said, they are capris. The back pockets are nice and blinged out. It almost looks like angel's wings and they are made of sequins. And the stains are more on the back, which is kind of interesting, but there's like this yellowish mark right there that is hard to pick up. 
And then just like all along the inside, I like kind of along the crotch. Like I know it's not pee. It could be, who knows. But it's, it looks like sweat is what it looks like, which is gross. Come on, husband. Come on, Mikey. Work some miracles here. That was my stained pile. We are in the home stretch. The last set of items I'm going to show you, I've actually already listed. So this first piece is, again, J. Jill. I think this is the only other J. Jill piece that I picked up. But I picked it up because it was a size large petite. And it's got this really pretty like sequin and embroidered detail all over it. Perfect for the summer, it's sleeveless. I believe this is 100% cotton and just a really easy summer dress. And that embroidery and sequin detail is all throughout the front. Oh my gosh, it's so long, I can't, I can't hold it. Um, if you watch Common Tags, what is her real name? Like a lot of people I only know by their <laughs> Instagram handle or the name of their YouTube channel and I don't actually, Courtney, her name's Courtney. <laughs> but if you watch Courtney, like she has this crazy way of like, like she holds items like this. Oh, I get it. I get why she does that. And I just kind of hold them in front of my face <laughs> and just keep raising my arms until whatever. But she's got it down to a science. Um, and the sequin and embroidery and beading continues along the bottom and it's also on the back of the dress. So I thought someone would really enjoy that. I am all about being comfortable and wearing breathable fabrics in the summer. I get so sweaty and I don't wanna wear polyester or things that just are gonna make me even more uncomfortable than I already am. Next up is this Cynthia Rowley black dress with gold hardware. It's a size small. And it's just got these like gold, I don't know what they're called, but hardware, that's all I can think. Gold circle dot things all throughout. And it's also got it along the hem on the bottom. It continues onto the back. I just thought that was kind of unique and kind of edgy. Um, I have this pair of Chico's pants size two. I forget off the top of my head what that is. Maybe that's a large or an extra large. Again, I'm not picking up a lot of Chico's, but I could not resist with these wide leg pants with this really cool print. I love blue in general, and I love wide leg, and I love pants that are just comfortable and easy, and this checks all those boxes. So I did pick those up. I don't remember how much I listed those for, but they are up in my closet right now. A couple pairs of American Eagle shorts. American Eagle, I love picking up because I don't have to think when I list them. I just know I'm going to list these for $18. I'll probably get $15 to $16, and they're just easy. People are looking for them. If people are loyal to American Eagle, they already know what size they wear. They, they know, you know everything they need to know about it. These are a size zero, just cut off shorts. These American Eagle shorts are distressed with like more of a cuffed bottom and these have stretch in them and these are a size four same thing listen for 18 probably get anywhere from 15 to 18. another pair of miss me pants these are the boot cut they're size 27 um, and these have a little bit more wear along the hem but it's not bad like you can see a little bit right there and the pockets are nice and blinged out and it's kind of cool because they have this like design where it's the middle piece of this design is cut out. And I thought that that was pretty interesting. And then there's this like little peekaboo thing back here. Um, but lots of sequins and rhinestones. Doesn't look like any of the rhinestones are missing, which is always good. A pair of loft shorts in this really cool, almost like woven looking fabric. It's black and white striped. They are a size... 14, which is why I picked them up. I also sold this exact pair of shorts, but in the red and white colorway to one of my friends on Instagram. So I know that people like those. This I believe is a, it's an, uh, it's an Aero Pastel sub brand, which I didn't know. And I have a piece by them in my closet right now that's not getting a lot of attention, but I picked them up because they are short alls and just overalls in general or short alls are pretty popular and they have this like print all throughout they've got the um just uh cut off hem 
The next thing that I picked up is by the brand Soma. And the reason why I picked this up, it's a size large. I picked it up because I had recently just sold a pair of their uh, like pajama pants. That was my first time picking up Soma and they attracted so many people to my closet and those pants just got so much attention. So I figured people must really like the brand and I wanted to try out something else by them. So this is a dress with this really interesting handkerchief hem. If you can see the bottom, let me try. Let me try the common tags. See, I just look crazy when I do it. <laughs> but um, it's got just this interesting hemline at the bottom. And it's so soft, so comfortable. I just couldn't help but pick it up. We'll see how that does. I don't know how their dresses do. Next up, I have this really cool piece by Cabby. It is old tag Cabby. It's a size small. But I just thought it was really nice. It's this open knit tank tunic I don't know what you would call it it is high low and I really like the lines in the center and then the color along the sides I just think it's really unique and very like substantial looking you could wear it with leggings but you could wear it with like jeans too I mean it's it just seems really versatile it's definitely too short to be an actual dress but I just I thought that was really cool next up this is what I was saying um with the other pair of cabbie pants that was like purple corduroy. This is really similar to that. These are Adriano Goldschmied, the stilt pant. And this isn't necessarily corduroy, it's more of like a velvet pant, which is kind of interesting. Um, but you can see like the sheen on it. And it looks like the stilt pant is more of like just a straight leg. Um, size 30 are again, and you can tell that these Adriano Goldschmidt pants came from the same person. Unfortunately, I think that said person was a smoker because, I don't know, they have kind of a weird smell to them. So I will wash those. Next up is a pair of really great shorts, actually. They're free people. I don't find a lot of free people where I live, so I'm always really excited when I find it, even though I know that free people doesn't always sell really well, but I just get really excited because I know it's trendy and people are looking for it. It's a size 27. I love the button fly. I think that that's super trendy right now, and it's got kind of the rolled um, hem. It's distressed a little bit, like on the back, really short. I mean, I could never wear these, but um, I really like those a lot. I'm excited about those. And the last thing for this haul, thanks for sticking with me, is this dress from White House Black Market. I try not to pick up too much White House Black Market. It doesn't really do that well for me, but I could not resist because I thought this dress just had such a cool, like retro pinup vibe to it. It is the satiny material and it's white and black polka dot and you can see the front like that sweetheart neckline, the cap sleeve and just a really pretty dress. Like I could see somebody totally rocking this with red lipstick and red heels for a wedding or a party or you know something but I thought that that was pretty cool. So that is my entire haul. I wanted to take a second and just say thank you to all of you because somehow, for some reason, I have hit a thousand subscribers. And that's crazy to me. Like it's crazy that a thousand people care at all about my reselling journey. And I do want to give a huge shout out too to at Harry Tomato. I will also <laughs> That's disgusting, Harry Tomato. It's at Harry Tornado, not tomato. We're not talking about Harry Tomatoes. At Harry Tornado, his real name is Josh, and he recently also hit a thousand subs, and he had a live stream just as a way to connect with his subscribers and also to do some giveaways. Not only did I win a giveaway, I won some of his favorite energy drink called G Fuel, but I also got to a thousand subs really because of him. I think going into the live stream, I had like 959 subs or something and he saw that I was in there and he was like, everyone go subscribe to Becky. We're not ending this live stream till she's at a thousand and people were telling their friends to subscribe and I, 
I'm just really thankful. He's awesome. He resells mainly on eBay, but he is so funny, so down to earth, and just a genuinely good guy. So I would definitely go check out his channel because it's, you won't regret it. Like he's a lot of fun. Um, so I am planning on doing a live stream myself with some fun giveaways. I'm basically copying him, but he told me to do that. He was like, if we get you to a thousand, then you have to do, you know, a live stream with giveaways too. And I was like, okay. So I'm planning on doing that next week. I'm thinking Thursday night, and that would take place of my second video for the week. That is not my what's sold video. I have to double check and make sure that that works with my family schedule. But as of right now, tentatively next Thursday is when I'm going to try to go live. Thank you guys so much again. Thank you for all of your kind comments um, in the comment section down below. People are always saying really nice things and just really encouraging and motivating me to keep up my YouTube journey. So I just wanted to say thank you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this haul. And I hope you guys are having amazing sales. This week finally feels like it's picked up a bit and that's really exciting because it's been pretty slow. I hope you feel the same way and that it's been picking up for you too. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the like button because that helps my channel out. Thank you so much. I will see you on the next one. Bye.